Hey everyone, it's Luna, and I just wanted to make this short video on a few of the gemstones that I use uh, on a regular basis. And these are stones that just about any person can use, as well as pregnant women. And being that I am pregnant, these are the five stones that I carry with me at all times to kind of balance out my energies and to stay focused throughout the day. I usually carry them in a bag all together because they kind of counteract each other. Now this light and this camera isn't going to do the stones much justice, but I'm, I'm going to try and do my best anyway. The first one I want to share is hematite or hematite, just depending on who you ask. This stone is usually a silver stone, and I, I've found a lot of them flat, but you can find them in different shapes. It can be magnetized. I have a hematite necklace that is magnetized, and I like to wear as a bracelet sometimes. This is a stone that is very good for grounding your energy. It's 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 kind of heavy. I gave this to my five-year-old, and she told me that it was a very heavy stone for such a small little thing. It's very heavy. It's very good with grounding your energies, especially when they're just all over the place. The second one has to also do with grounding energies. This is sodalite. It's blue and white, and it also comes in different shapes, and this is polished. It's good with grounding the energy of over-emotional people. Now, I carry this, obviously, because I am hormonal and very emotional. Just little things here and there can make me cry. I can watch a commercial and burst into tears. So this is very good for trying to keep the emotions in check without them taking over. The next one I have is quartz crystal. And quartz crystal is, of course, very good for healing. This I just carry around. I'm in pain a lot. I'm I'm not a happy pregnant woman. I Things suck 90% of the time. So I have this to kind of keep my pain at bay. It's very good to just attune. I, and this I've used for just about everything. This I've had forever. And it's a, kind of like a part of me because it knows when I need that extra boost to get me through certain pain. The next one is bloodstone. Now bloodstone is a green stone. This one's tiny and very polished. It's green with uh, flecks of red in it. Of course, this isn't giving it justice. It's green with little flecks of red in it and it's good for promoting honesty as well as protection. So I use this as protection against ne negativity because because of the fact that I'm hormonal. I tend to think that, that people are against me. And it helps me to keep negativity at bay. Now the last stone is moonstone. And again, this doesn't do it justice. This has a kind of pearlescent reflection in the light. It's just, it's a milky white stone. It's very opaque. And it's got this little um, opalescent type shine to it. It's very good with balancing feminine energies. Obviously it's a moonstone so it's attached to the moon. And it's very good with balancing feminine energy and with dealing with lovers who have parted in anger, things like that. And I use it just to balance my own girl energies because Again, I am pregnant and my energies are just all over the place. So I just wanted to share that with you. I know it's a very short video and there's not a lot going on in it. But a little bit of information on those five stones. And I'm thinking I might do some more on different kinds of stones. So anyway, I hope you guys all have a good night and brightest blessings.